And we're back now with another of our Elite Award winners. And Chandra, I'll turn it over to you to introduce this award winner. So I am super excited because Peter is our, uh, in our security department. And Peter, I used to see on the 3 to 11 shift. Correct. And Peter is now in a new role and he started out with us in 2006? Correct, yes. 2006, 2006. so it's been close to 12 years and Good. he's so young. Yeah. I can't believe I'm, I'm thinking. You started when you were 12. Just started when you were 12, <laughs> right, just about, Peter? Just about. And, and this, uh, this um, nomination is because he, uh, you know, he really goes above and beyond. Uh, and I have to tell you, when I see Peter, I know I'm always in good hands. Um, you know, he is now, again, here on the day shift, and he's taking on additional responsibilities. Good for you. Congratulations um, you know, on that. Yeah, yeah so it. now you're campus security supervisor for, for day shift. From day shift. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So he started as a security officer and has worked his way up to an assistant supervisor and now supervisor. And we look forward to more promotions as you grow with Green Spring. So we're excited for that That's opportunity. Now this nomination um, really talks about how conscientious he has been. And this is, this is one example, because I see it on a daily basis and I've seen it in my t two years here as the executive director. Um, you know, we had a resident who took um, you know, a, a fall and, uh, you know, Peter was there making sure that everything was assessed appropriately. He was very professional, um, really went above and beyond to make sure that this individual was comfortable, was physically taken care of. Um, you know, you, you talk about, um, you know, this individual is, you know, is, is also very well qualified as a resident mm -hmm. and for them to give us this nomination is, means a lot. Um, because of that fact also, you know, Peter goes above and beyond, but I know that, you know, if it wasn't for him and the outstanding job, I think, you know, things could be different in many situations within the community. Um, but he does it with such calmness and professionalism that I'm always astounded with the situations. And, you know, in the evening time, we don't have as much management and staff here, but to be able to, to manage this size of a community um, and the team, the security team, is vital to our residents and the staff. And, and Peter has been the leader there. And I, I am so looking forward to seeing him, you know, in the daytime continue to expand his, his uh, role um, and uh, really provide all that he does. So um, as part of that, Peter, what I have for you here is, um, I'll start off with this. This is a letter that will we have a copy of also in the file. Okay. Uh, this is acknowledging you as the first um, person, you know, when you talk about manager and supervisor of the quarter, Peter is one of the, f is the first the to first, win the Elite. The first uh, Elite mm -hmm. Award winner of the manager of the quarter. quarter. Nice. So this is your letter. All right. And it's just, you're the leader of the quarter. Okay. So we have two and you're in good company. We'll talk about the second person later on. But Green Spring Leader of the Quarter, and um, yeah, there's your certificate. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. So you will always be remembered as the first. Awesome. All right, <laughs> I'll hand that to you, thank and you also, um, this is a gift card for you to enjoy, and congratulations All right, thank on you very winning much. the Elite Award, and congratulations on making it into the supervisor role. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it, thank you very much. Yeah. Tell us what you would like to say, Peter. I just want to say thank you to everybody and being, you know, appreciated. I've, uh, like we mentioned, work, I'm going on 12 years working here, and I've enjoyed every day coming here to work, be here for the residents, and just give my all my best to provide, you know, safety and security. And it wasn't probably for me, my favorite part of the job is the emergency services part, so I take pride in that. So. Well, you and your team do a terrific job. It's just, you yeah. know, I've, I've never heard anything but wonderful words about our emergency team, that you show up, you're there, your folks are always calm, you know, and as residents, you know, when we have an emergency, we're always going to be upset. What do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And your folks just come in calmly, just take care of the situation and, and calmly help us as we need to be helped. Correct, correct. Yeah, and also I would like to say thank you to my team members that were on with me on that call. 
So, because they all provide care and do mm -hmm. everything as well. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be able to get uh, recognized for this if it wasn't for them as well. So thank you to them. That's good. That's part of the leadership. That's part of the leadership That's part of it. That's why you're an elite winner. <laughs> That's right. Well, Thank congratulations. You. We're happy you're here, and we hope you'll stay another 12 years at least. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Me too. Thank That's you. That's good. Good, good. And our, we have another leadership we award. We you know, and The individual and, is not able to be here. Un unfortunately, the individual was not able to be here. I'm going to hand this to Peter. So you have that for you. That's your copy with the nomination. And um, our other... Uh, winner uh, for the uh, manager of the quarter is Corey Young. Now Corey, uh, you know, I always chuckle because Corey came in 2002. I'm like, wow, <laughs> he must have been 12 when and he yes, started. Yes, I, I think like he, <laughs> well, he really, I think he was about 16. He was about 16, yes. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really great to be sitting here and have two people that have such longevity with Greenspring and have really grown and progressed um, and that, that is our commitment to our employees to help them grow yes. um, into uh, new opportunities that, that meet their needs and also provide an opportunity for the community to harness their skill set. So, yes. so excited to be sitting with, you know, having Peter here and then to be talking about Corey. Now, Corey started out as a, as a student server and then service coach dining services supervisor, service manager, and then now he's, of course, the general manager um, in town center uh, of the fireside and, and manages the cafe, uh, which is it's a big deal to oh, manage yeah. two of those. Um, and the nomination that Corey received, um, you know, really just saying how they watched him um, bring out the best in his staff. You know, you talk about leadership, about seeing him, you know, always you know, being magical is the word with workers and how he talks to them and how he coaches them. And, and he takes personal interest in them. Um, you know, he, he's really somebody that the team doesn't want to disappoint because he is a person that cares. Yes, he really does. He's um, a good team leader. Absolutely. And he's always smiling and it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. He's cheerful. Um, and all you know he always says how else can i help um you know what can i do it's not what can you do but what can we do and it's really nice to be able to get uh this from a resident who sees this and sees the interactions and the positive uh, effect that corey has had on that team and even the dining experience as i walked around you know the potomac cafe or i go into the fireside i hear that about how positive their dining experience I had an interaction is. With, with Corey just the end of last week. I noticed in the cafe that, that where the, the glasses and cups are located are difficult for someone in a wheelchair to reach. Mm -hmm. And he spent 10 minutes with me, trying with both of us trying to figure out how we could change that configuration right. so they would be more easy for a person. Great. To, you know, he didn't blow me off. He didn't say, oh, you know, don't worry about it. They can do something, you know, he right. really took it seriously yes. that, <clears throat> excuse me, yes, we need to make a change here. Right. And so that's, that's Very the sensitive. great, that's the collaboration, you know, with residents point of view and the staff, we don't always have the answers. And that's why it's great to be able to have as a, as right. a resident to be yeah. able to, to have those contributions. And so, you know, he continues to, to grow that team. And I am really excited to see the future with Corey here at Green oh, Springs. Yeah. So, right. Um, we'll get to acknowledge him, and he's probably a shy guy, but we'll find a way to <laughs> we'll embarrass him give him. Yes, yeah. embarrass him a little <laughs> right. bit. Embarrass him a little bit, but he's been a great person. It's, it's uh, great to person. have both, yes. both of you here, you know, that, that you keep growing with us and keep, le and we, we figured out the other day an additional value for having Corey as we go through the repositioning in town center, right. that Corey has been here long enough that he was here the last time the cafe was redesigned. Yes, that's so, true. So he knows how we survived it the last time. He has <laughs> okay. clues. That is true, very true. But as you can see, you know, from today that it is it is really hard to pick someone to yes. be, you know, the winner because there's so many wonderful stories. Which is terrific. Um, and so we great encourage staff. all of you as residents to, to keep nominating yes. people. When you see someone doing Absolutely. something good, shout it out, pat them on the back in writing. Yes. So they can be thanked. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, we, we don't have a lot of time. I do want to throw in just one thing to remind people that this week is Christmas in July. I wore my red jacket you did. so we can remind people of Christmas in July. The treasure chest has a special sale this week in Town Center, Thursday and Friday. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Friday and Saturday from 12 noon to six o'clock in the Town Center card room. So a good place to go and do your Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping, yes. Yes, right. The, the furniture store will be open as usual, but the regular uh, treasure chest will not be open. So uh, do check that out. And Friday night, special Christmas meals in all dining rooms. In all dining rooms. Anything else that's going on that we need to know about? Well, I will be putting out this week notification that we have hired an associate executive director. Yes. Talk about excitement. Yes. Yay. Very excited. Uh, uh, Brad Andrus is his name. He started out here at Green Spring uh, back in the late 90s. That's wonderful. As a wellness manager and has progressed with Erickson um, and went on to be a director of sales and Good. a director of philanthropy at Charlestown which is a community in Baltimore that we manage. Good. And then went to uh, a, an external company, a Goddess Masters, and wanted to and was itching to get back to the Erickson uh, community. And so, so he won't be lost for the first month. He will month. not. He knows <laughs> the area and, and he, you know, he was here Good. for a while. So I'm so excited. The 16th of July is his first day. Good. And uh, we'll get him introduced and out there. And I think everybody will really like him. Well, we look forward to that, and I'm I, sure you do. I absolutely do. Wonderful. I do. Thank well, you. thanks to both of you for Thank joining you. us today, and, and congratulations again on your award. Thank you.